All right, welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. So this is going to be episode three. Uh, at the end of episode two, we found out, of course, that uh, Ichabod, walking way back there in the background, is a creep. And they're setting it up as if he is the one that killed Lily. Now, I don't believe that. I believe that Lily, or sorry, that Crane was actually framed to make it look like he killed um, first Snow White and then Lily in an effort to scare him, potentially. But by who? I don't know. So let's find out. Obligatory, there's supposed to be music here. Sorry about that. Uh. Fucking creep. Spineless little fucking rat. Crane? Ugh, God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Not now. I have a right to know. If no, my you wife don't. is... Honey. Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Oh, yeah, Everything's the phone doesn't work. Fine, okay, it's going to be fine. I have to tell Snow what's going on right now. Okay, it's, it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the Trip Trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip Trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B! Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... please be careful. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Yeah, that's fair. My hair looks crazy right now, by the way. Oh, damn it. Sorry, guys. Let me turn that off. I'm playing through Assassin's Creed 2 right now, so... Trying to get the platinum on that. 10.28 p.m. My dumb big head's probably blo blocking that part. I'm, um, honored to be asked to speak tonight. Even if it's tradition that everyone speak. Lily had many friends, but few fables she was truly close to. If you you're here, me? then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't, um... Didn't I have subtitles turned on? What happened to that? Yeah, subtitles on. Um, offend you by claiming one day that... That the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. But I also know that, that, that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so grateful to share with me. Your memories of her. How she could be stubborn and patient. Rash and thoughtful. Is that oh, she the other, a torch for other the sister, ways, maybe? For tradition, for um, pageantry. And most of all, it seems how Lily loved, dearly loved her friends and family. She loved being around them, in good times and bad. I never met Lily, but from what I've been told, I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our, um, moment of silence. Thank you. I'm not gonna interrupt. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. 
Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Look, Holly, I'm not here to start trouble. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Bigby could do anything about it. Well, that makes sense. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Bigby gives a shit about this. Holly, it's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I just came to pay my respects, Holly. I don't mean any harm. Oh, really? You have no respect you can pay. You don't care about any of us. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? There's the Empire State Building to Look, the left there. Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want <laughs> you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. So Nerissa's the redhead. Who's the blonde? Is that Nerissa's sister, maybe? Or Holly's sister? Other sister? I know you didn't come here to pay your respects, so whatever it is better be wildly important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm yeah, it's a little just trying messed up. everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because I'm not going to share with a photo. Don't confuse things. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him. He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. I'll let her choose if she wants to see Look, him, right? let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? No? Uh, I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa. See, someone has a spell cast on them. Yeah. Coming. Where they literally can't talk about it. Our lips are sealed. Check out that Book of Fables entry. Constable. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you Jagovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that jag off. Plans. 
Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Fuck it. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you can just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Polly, don't move. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead whore. I'm gonna kill Oof. you! Polly! Polly! Ah. I got it done! Watch the end of that barrel, kid. Oh, damn. I'm fine, Snow. Thank you. Oh. Whoops. Episode 3, A Crooked Mile. Fable Town Business Office, 11.43 p.m. So I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> like what you see, Snow? Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. I had even, everyone that got wounded sent home. Even Holly? Holly refused to let me see okay. where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. Who was that? The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And 
We know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. <laughs> that about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. Can he do that? So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just, nice hell capitalized. I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is going to sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? No. Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. Any time. I love you. Can I, um, ask you a question? Yes, I'll be your it's Valentine. It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you Whoa, kidding hey. me? Whoa, hey, that was it's aggressive. What happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. That was aggressive. Jesus. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. It's not what I thought he was. How I thought he was going to respond at all. Uh, hey guys, we have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's uh, it's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. <laughs> we can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. I love Bluffkin. He's cool. All right, let's look at the Book of Fables. Also, one thing... I it's kind of starting to annoy me a little bit. When I make a selection, like I feel like I have to wait for the bar to run all the way down. I want to hear what the other characters are saying. And like the second you select whatever dialogue choice you have, it like cuts them off. And I don't I don't like that. I want to hear it feels more natural to hear what they were gonna say, you know? Alright. Who's new here? Vivian. Much of Vivian's past is unknown since she prefers not to talk about her life back in the homelands. Do these people not all know each other? Um, she wanted to start fresh in Fable Town, but she finds herself working for Georgie at the Pudding and Pie. It's not a terrible life. Georgie took a liking to Vivian, so he doesn't make her take jobs at the open arms. Instead, she plays hostess and helps Georgie ensure complete customer satisfaction. Okay. So. So the... That ribbon around their neck means that they work at the Pudding and Pie, I'm assuming. Dr. Swinehart is the resident Fable Town physician, so skilled in the art of instrumental surgery that he can safely operate on himself. 
He served as an army medic for many years, sometimes using his talents to impress the locals. He currently runs the special research section of the Knights of Malta Hospital, so named to discourage people for investigating what is actually a reserved, fables-focused health facility. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. What does that mean? Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. <laughs> okay, okay. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. All right. Before we go and talk to her... Um... No, we, I don't think we can go that way. Um, anything to the left, maybe? Won't even let me rub the lamp anymore. Here we go. What the hell? Where are you going? What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. A lot of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. Are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be made a priority. Best, Wayland Smith. Dear Mr. Crane, I am writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross and I'd really like it if you'd fix the air like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan in the meantime. Sincerely, Boy Blue. That's what I'm going through in my apartment right now. I understand. Pull that drawer out in a second. Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out what room... I can't rent out that room as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together. Mr. Toad. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. It was cold. I don't think there's anything else here. Nope. Okay. It's gonna be locked. Yeah. Rip that bitch open. The official business affairs. Oh. Witching cloak. There's a the page here that was torn out. Oh yeah. Buffkin, do you know what was here?
It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! I did. And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> he set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried. Bluebeard, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> Bluebeard actor. All right, actor. let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. No, so... chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. I can't get any more messed up. I was we trying to get to find the Bigby witch, to stay Bluebeard, out of it. Since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a <laughs> smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. I think he can hear you say that. Where are you going to go, Bigby?
Find the witch. So you leave Crane alone, then we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Oh, man. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. Trip Trap Bar in the Bronx, 12.38 a.m. So we got an hour and 22 minutes. Oh, there it goes. An hour and 22 minutes left. <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. I need to talk to Holly. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Friend. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you... you shouldn't drink right now. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um... is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? I'm after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate? And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? We'll get to whatever you're here for in a sec. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. That's a cool line. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, what? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith, and after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. He's gonna die and I'm Holly's dead. gonna blame me. I already see it. It's gonna be like, you all knew right, you shouldn't me. have drank. God. Grand. 
The doc said you needed a rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Oh my god. <laughs> what more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? Cut this shit out now, I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick oh. after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. <laughs> I think whatever happened was between them, and Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gray. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. Nothing really to what say there, right? Day. Am I right, Sheriff? What I've been up for like three days now, but day. yeah. Grin won't remember this. <laughs> That's funny. So do we have to be quiet? Is that a thing? Like a little mini game or something? No, oh, we do. And you know she's laying on it. God. You know she's laying on it. We really can't slide this out. Okay, thank God. All right, get to work, son. Time is a ticket. Hey, there's Faith. <sighs> Ew, no. <gasps> Woody, is that you? Woody, bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so you can run off back to the woods, I guess. Did you care about her at all? Try she not was a to nice say anything. Girl. Ran around too much, but a nice girl. Try not to say anything, hoping she'll just go back to sleep. I thought you were a friend. So it must be Holly on the right, or Lily on the right. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. Just go back to sleep, Holly. Hey, that worked. I can't believe that worked. 
I hope it lets me check all this stuff. In games, you never know if you're gonna like find the right thing and it'll cut you off. We'll do the book last. We know Crane was holding one of those when he got in the cab at the end of part two, episode two. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. But, you know, it's not like he's... Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Thought she was gonna, you like, wake up. glamour on this day. And one of these has to be the witch. But which one? Oh man. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts initials. Not sure which one is the witch, though. Strange. As Bluffkin. People keep cropping up. Before, a few days ago, I thought I knew everyone in Fabletown. Any chance you can cross-reference these with the records in the business office? Maybe track her down that way. Yeah, but who knows how long that'll take. You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Bluffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office. Just make it quick. We don't have a lot of time. I'll head over to Crane's apartment. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. In the meantime, I'll see what I can do on this end. Okay. Good luck, Bigby. We'll find him, Snow. I hope you're right. One o two a.m. 58 minutes left. Bluebeard burned everything. Oh, that's not good. I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. He wouldn't <laughs> listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. Why would Bluebeard come here just to burn all the crane stuff? Because I don't think he's working with Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I'm pretty sure Bluebeard has his own reasonings. If there was something here I could use to find him, there isn't now. What a waste of fucking time. What now? Did you find any information about the witch at the Trip Trap? Just this. I don't know which one she is, but it's a start. Maybe I can find more at the Tweedle's office. It's worth a try. I'd better go fill Miss White in on the circumstances. She's going to be very disappointed. So we picked the wrong choice. Good luck. We should have gone to uh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum's office first. Like that's the choice we should have made. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten- I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? 
I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or dumb? They, they aren't there in here right now. I'm not sure when they'll be back. You seen Crane around? Not around here. I saw him leave the woodlands earlier, but I'm not supposed to bother him. I don't really think he likes me. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes <laughs> I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure, thanks. No problem. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right, <laughs> you're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. I won't get you in trouble, alright? Right. I should pick up that cigarette, though. Alright, um... Make sure there weren't any secrets hiding over there somewhere. You know about this? Uh, no. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dumb. He actually mailed this? They do have their quirks. <sighs> this is pointless. All right, so we have a key. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. Couple of freaks. I highly doubt they're talking about dogs. <sighs> That's code I, for... I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way D explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? For who? All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Behind lock and Anyways, key, I I'm would just assume. Saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. I'm sure you have your reasons, but it's just they, they've done so much for me. Let's see if they've got a file on Crane. Oh, they do. Let's see the file on Beauty, too. Georgie has this an interest. Wait till see him. Put squeeze. Shit. Uh, I don't know who these other people are. Let's see what Cinderella looks like. Hey! She looks like Veronica Mars. I didn't even read the thing. I was looking at the photo. Donkey skin. That is Faith, right? Stole a photo from Crane. Find it at all costs. Easy job. Photo. So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. See? I'm finding enough. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great, they helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Chill out, man. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How is he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Why did he want it back so badly? Yeah. 
Detective Brannigan? Keep an eye on her. Is that the one that we, uh... Yeah. Find anything? Ichabon drugged what or whatever. What if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. People can surprise you. I don't like any of those choices. Bigby? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would Where does the key go? Because they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. Bigby, what happened to your... Ah, oh, shit. You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't know. And it doesn't matter if they're really good at hiding their shit, but they're involved all right in all of this. Do you get it now? Don't yell at the kid. He's just a naive dude, like... I didn't mean to... There's a door behind this file cabinet. I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Can I hug you? Well, that key you found should work. Thank you, Flycatcher. Now, please don't lock me down here. Wow. Butcher. What is this stuff? What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane, or the witch he was using. Something. Crooked man. I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the Lucky Pawn. Do you know what that is? It's a pawn shop, duh. Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. Got a feeling we're going to need uh, money here soon. Hey, Big B. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Since Crane let me go... I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be... thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. It's Snow's hair. Snow White? Why... W we found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Anti green uh, leaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. AG I guess in the book. We're getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her. That's not a pleasant thought. Anti AG? green leaf. A G. This is it. I have to tell Snow. This is the place. There, there's a phone right over there. Thanks, Fly. Business office? I know who she is. B. 
Big B. I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. 12, 14 a.m. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Let's check out the Fable entries first. I know what I'm dealing with here. So we got Flycatcher. The Frog Prince. Okay. A former prince turned to a frog by a witch. The friendly, genial flycatcher now carries the name as an unsubtle reference to his propensity for catching and eating flies. His wife and their children were brutally murdered back in the homelands, a fact he attempts to deny himself by committing to a series of endless tasks and janitorial duties. Well, that's sad. The oldest bar in New York City, the Trip Trap, was established in 1725 in secret by Starcad the legendary Viking and reprobate as a place for fables to meet and drink and commiserate. It rhymes. Uh, known then as the Grammarian's Tavern, he eventually lost it in a bet to a tribe of mountain trolls who quickly renamed it and made it their own. Holly is the current proprietor, having inherited it from her mother when she died on a boating accident in the early 20th century. Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Auntie Greenleaf, I need you to open this door right now. Hello? Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Where's Crane? Is he still here? Huh? I don't know who that is. I'm sorry, I don't really... Uh... Look, little girl, I know he was just here. I'm sorry, I don't... I don't know what that is. Crane? It's okay. You're the witch. Do you have a name? That's the witch, dude. Come on. Rachel, who are you? Just so... We're not strangers. I'm Big B. This is Snow. That's the witch, dude. She's nice to meet you. Has a How glamour on to be a little girl. Come on. Is there um is there anything you need? We're looking for a man, a skinny, pale, nervous fella. Have you seen him? My art teacher says men are a waste of time. Do you go to school? Sometimes. Is there uh, something you want? Well, this has all been thoroughly enlightening, but I'm still going to have to search the apartment, so step aside, kid. Oh, wait, please! I don't know if I'm allowed! Oh, it's okay. Really. We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Bigby. I'm going to trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. Let me look at this photo first. That your mom? Uh-huh. I might have been wrong about that being the witch. Your mom a <laughs> hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. Watch your language. Is there anything else other than, oh, what's this? What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Yeah, I was definitely wrong about that being the witch. <laughs> I thought she like used her glamour no, it's to. it has been over all night, so. He's just going to check. It'll only take a moment. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Shut up, Rachel. Um. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. It's 
Pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. I mean, clearly there's something else here, right? There's like conversation Where stuff over your here. Clothes? At a store? Oh. My mommy makes all of mine. How much longer do you think it'll be? I saw. The butcher. The butcher. What's that? A package having to do with someone called the butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. Damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, I don't give a shit what your mom likes or doesn't let people do. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. you don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? Don't tell them we broke in. She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. That is the art. No, put it down. It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get in trouble. <laughs> Anti green leaf. That's what I thought, bitch. It you bitch. Hurts when you do it that fast. I knew it. What? You picked the wrong night to lie to me. No more lying, no more ring around the rosy, no more bullshit non sequiturs. You're done. It's over. You're gonna tell me what I want to know right now. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. Help us catch Crane. That's all we care about. That's not all we care about. Snow? I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. You're an accomplice to murder. Do you realize that? You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, Whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. Is it? You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? No. I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! Oh, that, that got you riled up. Come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could Don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old no, hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just... Work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat. 
And I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me. No one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girls' speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Today's your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. B Big B! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble, and, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. And you get to keep your fucking tree. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Don't think for a second that this is over. Uh, so what? Are moving trucks gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you. I mean, snow could have burned down the tree, right? Why is it up to me? That's Crane's car. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Hold on. Oh, do you miss a spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Oh, fucking fuck, man! <laughs> Tell me what you know, now! You can't just go in there! We have a problem. Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! Mr. Crane, please! She can't help! I know you know what the plan is! I won't be held accountable for this! I can't! I can't! I'm sorry! I... Oh my god! Big me! Wait, don't! Can't I? Just a little? I, I, I didn't do anything! I promise you, I didn't do anything! Then why is her eye bleeding? It's the, the, the girls oh, me up! I just have to get this stupid ring working, that's all! They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. I, I went to... <laughs> Damn you, dork. Please. Tell me who killed her. You dork. My lips are sealed. <laughs> we'll check out that book of fables. <laughs> How many years? <laughs> what? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just, oh, God. We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know, that's, that was, I just, I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't? Love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Can I punch him now? Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? No, of course not. Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? No. He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough. Not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. 
Thank you, my dear. It means so much. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? If you'd seen the room... I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This is different, Snow, and you know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fabletown, of using our money for his own... ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? This fuck-up knows more than he's saying. I don't... I don't! Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. No, he didn't do there's it. there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? I honestly don't know. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes it's fuzzy. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, then so be it. I have no regrets. Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. Could throw you down the wish the witch as well. We're getting close to some kind of big reveal for episode four. What are you saying? Is that the dumb Tweedles, Tweedle Brothers? Oh fuck! Better Assassin's Creed your ass up the wall there, buddy. Yep. Tweedledee in one car, Tweedledum in the other. Unless there's three cars now? Oh no, they're in one car. Bluebeard driving the other. Hi. What you got there? Who the fuck are you? Look, it's Cinderella seems to come under our attention that you're how shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the crooked man. He's about yay high, hundred and twenty odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was fourteen. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mondays call me? What? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, 
Bloody, Bloody Ma- Mary. That's it. Oh, cool. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them period it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf. To relax. This is my job. I like my job. So think about what I'm gonna do to you, your girl, and the rest of your friends if you don't hand over the sock puppet now. He's in custody, so move your car. I told you he'd never just give him up. Who's driving her? She got out on the passenger side. No, you should probably run. Bigby? Oh, it's it's morbid time, baby. Oh, it's morbid time. I'm gonna morb so hard. Hold on. There we go. Oh, damn it, I thought I was real. supposed to be happening here okay I'm pushing up maybe I'm supposed to push up. I don't know Go. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna kill him. Fuck this guy. Dude, Mary doesn't give a shit. Oh, he's looking at snow now. Whoops. Well, I guess we're not gonna bang. Oh, she had like a silver bullet or something. Oh god, Big me! That was a good show. But, you know, I just didn't know when to end. So seriously, who's driving her? Oh, no. You know, you wouldn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just a pretty case. Right, Wolfie? I mean, Come on, how many I X's do I have to hit? Ridiculous, but really, guys. <laughs> Can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Wait! Stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yes. Get out of here. Don't be Bluebeard. It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay, okay. with him. Okay. 
Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls, Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Man, the voice acting in this game is so good. Like, Bloody no, Mary's voice actress is so good. Ow. Well, this is gonna be Ow! A beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. So it, at the end of each episode, it shows like a next time on. I actually like took my headphones off and like didn't look at the screen because I don't I don't want to know what's coming. You know, I, I've never liked that. Um, like I understand when they released it, they released this in episodes across 2013, 2014. So I understand they had to do that, but I, I don't want to know what's coming. So I'm actually going to cut it out of the video too. Um, okay, here. Uh, did you interrupt Snow's eulogy? 81% did not. Um, what place did you investigate first? 40% Hollies. Um, did you offer Flycatcher a job? 96%. Nice. Did you burn Greedleaf Tree? 80% did not. So I'm, I'm really like in the majority here of stuff I did. Never mind. Uh, 44% of players killed Tweedledum. I mean, probably shouldn't have, but one less thing to worry about, you know? So, we'll look at the uh, the rest of the fable entries here in a second. Yeah, Bloody Mary, how about that? And Crooked Man. So, Crooked Man must be the, the big bad, right? He's the big bad guy. Um, Peter Cornforth. I went to school with a Peter Cornforth. Um, he's, he must be the big bad of the, of the game. So, I'm curious what Bluebeard wants to do with anything. Now we know who has hired the Tweedle Brothers. It was obviously the Crooked Man. Um, and I was looking at the the voice actors there. Um, and Bloody, Bloody Mary is maybe the biggest bet. I don't know. We will find out in episode four. All right, I'm going to look at the fables here. All right, let's see the new ones. Auntie Greenleaf. Horticulturist, alchemist, and lover of animals, Auntie Greenleaf is one of the few rogue witches still living outside the 13th floor unsupervised and unrestricted rumored to have lost a daughter in the homelands she suffers paranoia and depressive mood swings and will only venture outside at irregular hours under the guise of an ethereal white deer an off-whispered specter of brookhaven natives random fun fact about me i guess the dorm one of the dorms i lived in in college was 14 stories high but it was really 13 stories high it skipped the 13th floor because of superstition. So it went from 10, 11, 12, 14. So stupid. Glamour tube. Glamours can be produced in a variety of ways, but one of the most common due to its ease of use is to take a small hollowed out tube or container and place within it several items unique to whomever the caster wants to copy, a which is required for the reactionary charm. Two downsides of this type of glamour is that totally unique appearances are completely impossible and the nature of the vessel makes it quite unstable. So that's why the Snow White charm didn't work precisely, like the number of buttons and they couldn't cover up Lily's track marks. Ring of Dispel. 
uh, reputed to be fashioned by a Byzantine clan in an attempt to ward off a coven of witches. The ring of dispel or dispelling ring or magic canceling ring, excuse me, hiccups, eventually was given to Lancelot by the Lady of the Lake. Uh, lady in the lake. Recovered by the business office after the immigration to New Amsterdam, that being New York before it was New York, it was assigned to Greenlee for caretaking. Bloody Mary. She is cool. Uh, the true history of the person known as Bloody Mary is almost completely unknown, even to fables most acquainted with its members. Her name is Mary, at least. Her name is Mary, at least, is not up for contention, nor is her penchant for shocking violence. An inlaid inlaid resistance to magic and spells and a strange ability to use any reflective surface as a portal effectively shortcutting space and time that's cool thought by mondays to be the wailing apparition of a childless ghost though any evidence of that is as yet unseen yeah i remember being like seven or eight at my daycare my baptist daycare and we would go into the bathrooms of the daycare and turn the lights off and say bloody mary five times and then Eventually, me and my ne next door neighbor who went to the same church, daycare, we would hide, one of us would hide in the stalls and scream after the fifth Bloody Mary to scare the little kids. It was great. Fun times at church daycare. Uh, so we only missed three entries. Uh, we only missed two and two and one and one. So probably missed four and four, I would guess. There's only, what, one, two, three, four, there's only eight total entries in chapter five, or episode five. So, anyway, hope you're enjoying the series. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, really, really curious to see where this goes, man. And who else, look, look at all these, what, there's going to be 10 or 12 new entries in episode four. When there was... About 11 in episode 3, I think. Assuming this is the first one. Because we got her last time. So, uh, man, yeah. Get introduced to a lot of new characters and concepts in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye.